attempting and making some chapatis so i'm trying to make the kenyan kind the soft and layered ones like this this guy that i follow on youtube chef wainana or something like that he's a doctor but i have his recipes so i'm trying out this soft layered chapatis so in here i have about three cups this is a cup wife it's 250 mils so I have three of those in this gigantic bowl. Uh, it's just the uh, all-purpose flour. You can use, you know, like those of you who are in Africa, you can use any other kind of flour. Um, there's a whole different variety. So that's three cups in here, and we'll be putting in. This is um, this is Himalaya pink salt. I'll be putting in about. One spoon, maybe one and a half. One and a half tablespoons of salt. We'll also be putting in. He recommends adding in a spoon of sugar. He says it gives it like a nice balance. So I'll add in one spoon, one tablespoon of sugar cane sugar. So, we're going to be mixing that with some warm water. That's what most of them recommend. And of course, they say you can add in a bit of oil. We'll be using avocado oil here. You can use olive oil. You can use, you can also use vegetable oil. Most, most of the chefs use vegetable oil. So if you have vegetable oil, you can go ahead and use that. Um, but I'll be using avocado oil. I like avocado oil's texture. If you want to stick to the recipe, use, use vegetable oil. Maybe I should actually just use the vegetable oil so that I can see if that recipe that he mentions or that he does, he makes, he uses to make his chapatis, make sure it comes out just like this. So, anyway, so we're going to be mixing these. Make sure you mix it nicely. Some people use uh, mixers. So if you have a mixer, I don't remember if I have a mixer. It's probably not as big, but if it's there, it's usually also a headache cleaning it up. And if I'm just in a rush, I could just use my wooden spoon and we're good to go. So I'll mix that up nicely. And then I'll be adding in our warm water. I'll try to. This is one cup of warm water. So this is super hot. Uh, I'm going to mix in some cold water. So, in one. Okay, so one cup did not do much. So, I'll be adding. I'm going to do that until everything is nice and mixed in. Using this uh, wooden spoon because um, the water that I'm using is hot, so I don't want to burn myself uh, while mixing it. But otherwise, I would definitely be using my hands. Mm. Getting good already. Okay, so this is gonna take a little bit. It will probably take about five minutes as you need because they say the the secret is in how long you can need this that's why some people use the mixers because and then they have like different levels of speed while they're, they're kneading the, the dough uh, but if you don't have the mixer you can just use this or use your hands but you have to at least do it for about this five minutes now food in East Africa, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, mostly Mombasa, you know, those coasts and everything. It's chapati is a main thing. There's a famous thing called Rolex. That's a Ugandan invented meal 
uh, Kumaji has a chapati and then eggs and cabbages and tomatoes wrap it up it is delicious so you can enjoy chapatis with different things with a cup of tea um, with you know any other drink that you're having porridge you name it uh, you can also enjoy chapatis with your stew so as a side you can cut it and have it with the stew so we'll be having this with uh, some of the bean stew that i'm making you could also enjoy it uh, with Rolex as a wrap uh, or even putting like vegetables and it's like a, a tortilla wrap of some sort. So it, you can enjoy it in different ways or just straight eating it. It's a snack, it's a meal, uh, it's everything. So let's get this on top of our... Of our chapati dough. not 